Now let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk? Well, it's a gorgeous day with warm temperatures and dry conditions, but unfortunately, that means the drought is extreme and is continuing. Hardly any impact in the, uh, the map, the data they released earlier today. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite, and as you can see, no echoes, no returns, no clouds, no rainmakers. It's just bone dry out there and it'll last until tomorrow. The high mark West Virginia sky cam says 84 right now. It feels like 82. The relative humidity just 28%. The breeze barely moving out of the east northeast at three and the pressure 30.15 inches continues to fall. Looking at our current temperatures around the area, 89 in Athens, 88 in Columbus and Cincinnati, 84 in Parkersburg may be one of the cooler reports if you can call 84 cool, 87 in Charleston. Breezes gently from the northeast about three to five miles per hour. And as a result, we're looking at the heat index the slightly lower than the, therm uh, the thermometer reading that we've seen. Uh, Athens about 85, 87 in Wilmington, 86 in Columbus. When we look for the 24 hour temperature change, we're about two degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this time. Athens is about six degrees warmer. So the uh, latest report here again, no rain returns until we get to Northwest Ohio. Just a few scattered showers there also on the Michigan border. Not enough to really write home about. The real weather maker is going to be the cold front that's off to the north and the west as that approaches, but high pressure is fending it off at this point. When we take a look at future casts, we'll be clear for the rest of the night as we get into tomorrow. It does look like the clouds will try to approach, but at sunrise we're looking at pretty much sunny conditions and that line of showers looks like it's going to intensify across Columbus. As we get towards game time, it certainly looks like we could see showers, if not a rumble of thunder pushing through the area. Not a torrential downpour like we saw last Friday, but it does look like we could be seeing some showers through the game. And then as we get past midnight, more intense downpours, but that should clear by sunrise on Saturday. The algae alert says pollen levels in the medium high category today expected to be washed down to medium as we go through the weekend. Ragweed continues to be the lead pollen and the humidity forecast certainly shows a spike in humidity supporting those storms on Friday evening into Saturday before we return to very comfortable and cool conditions. So the convective outlook for tomorrow, we're straddling two of the lowest categories here. That's why we can't rule out the rumble of a thunderstorm as it comes through during the games tonight. 55 for the overnight low clear skies and just a thumbnail moon uh, just setting after the sunset. When we take a look at tomorrow's high, it's 88 with late evening showers as we've just discussed. As we look at the extended forecast, all the showers should clear in time for the Sternwheel Festival. And then on Monday, we're almost back to 80 for the rest of that work week.